Jupiter, located 484 million miles away, is like the Shakespeare of our solar system, weaving a complex narrative of 79 moons, a magnetic field stronger than any other planets, and a great red spot large enough to envelop the Earth. Today's video dives deep into the fascinating world of Jupiter. From its role as Earth's sentinel against asteroids and comets, to its iconic striped atmosphere swirling with gigantic storms, such as the Great Red Spot, we'll uncover the marvels and mysteries that make this gas giant a very special phenomenon. Stick around to discover why understanding Jupiter could hold the key to unlocking the greater secrets of our solar system, and perhaps even life beyond Earth. Jupiter is the behemoth quarterback, larger than life, exuding magnetic charisma, and always at the heart of the action. As the fifth planet from the Sun and the largest in our cosmic neighborhood, Jupiter is not merely an imposing gas giant. It's a gravitational sentinel, a guardian of Earth, and a mysterious world teeming with tantalizing possibilities. Imagine stacking Earth-sized balls into Jupiter. You'd need 1,321 of them to fill it up. This isn't just a fun fact. Jupiter's huge size makes it really important for our solar system. It's so enormous that it acts like the glue of our solar system, holding everything together. It's about 86,881 miles across, which is more than 11 times the size of Earth, which is around 7,918 miles wide. When you look at the smallest planet, Mercury, at about 3,032 miles wide, Jupiter is nearly 29 times bigger. It's so heavy that it makes up about 70% of the weight of all the planets together. Saturn is big too, at about 72,366 miles wide, but it's still not as big as Jupiter. Uranus and Neptune, the cold big planets, are around 31,518 miles and 30,598 miles wide, so they're smaller than both Jupiter and Saturn. So Jupiter is like the giant of the planets, way bigger and heavier than all the others, and it makes all the other planets look small. Cruising around the Sun at a dizzying average speed of 47,000 miles per hour, this Titan takes a leisurely 11.86 Earth years to complete one solar lap. Its orbit is more of an elongated ellipse rather than a perfect circle, adding an extra layer of complexity to its already enigmatic nature. Now you might be thinking, that's cool and all, but why should I care? Well, Jupiter is more than just a jaw-dropping spectacle. It's Earth's galactic bodyguard. In 1994, we saw how Jupiter acted like a big cosmic shield when it got hit by pieces of the Shoemaker-Levy 9 comet. The hit was so powerful, it left marks on Jupiter that we could even see from Earth. Think of Jupiter as the solar system's goalie, diving and leaping to keep rogue space rocks from scoring a catastrophic hit on Earth. It's not just diverting them. Jupiter's gravity also maintains the stability of the asteroid belt that vast ring of rocky debris situated between Mars and Jupiter. This gravitational influence keeps these chunks from getting too ambitious and wandering into our neighborhood. Jupiter can be likened to a miniature solar system in itself, brimming with numerous moons and enveloped in mystery. However, four of these moons stand out, Ganymede, Callisto, Io, and Europa, which are collectively referred to as the Galilean moons. Ganymede is a frozen wonder, larger than Mercury, and enveloped in an atmosphere so delicate it's barely perceptible. It's the biggest moon we know of, and the only one with its own magnet-like force. Its surface features an array of craters and enigmatic icy lakes, making it an enticing candidate for future exploratory missions. Next, there's Callisto, the weathered senior moon among Jupiter's satellites whose surface serves as a frozen historical record of numerous impacts, all covered by a frosty layer of water ice. But don't forget about Io, the dynamic little moon. This tempestuous gas giant is the solar system's most geologically active object, boasting over 400 active volcanoes that emit sulfur and other unique materials into space. Lastly, there's Europa, the mysterious ice moon that hides a secret. A subterranean ocean lies beneath its icy exterior. It's interesting because of its many ice cracks, like someone drew on it from space. Might there be life lurking within those hidden waters? Only future exploration can provide the answer. Every time we learn something new about these moons, it leads to more questions. 
Jupiter transcends its identity as a captivating gas giant, symbolizing the multifaceted nature of our solar system, acting as Earth's shield, and potentially even offering a habitat for yet-to-be-discovered life forms. It enlightens us about not just the galaxy expanses, but also about the fragility and splendor of Earth. By delving into Jupiter's mysteries, we confront broader questions about life, security, and the boundless opportunities that call out from the heavens. Jupiter is more than a remote gas giant. It's an ongoing dynamic testament to the limitless and remarkable universe that extends beyond our terrestrial boundaries. Exploring Jupiter's intense atmosphere is going to be a wild and challenging ride. Now imagine plummeting into the maelstrom that is Jupiter. You might as well be diving into the universe's most lethal abyss. Let's fasten our mental seatbelts and take a harrowing journey through the gas giant's labyrinthine layers of atmosphere, all while facing conditions that would make Dante's Inferno look like a sauna. First things first, spoiler alert, you won't survive. But hey, we're space nerds, right? We can't help but think about the fantastical what-ifs. We're going to explore why plunging into Jupiter would be the ultimate and final adventure for any human. So here we are, catapulted from our spaceship, spiraling into Jupiter's upper atmosphere. Mostly a cocktail of hydrogen and helium, you'd feel like you've entered a deep freeze. We're talking temperatures of negative 153 degrees Celsius, colder than the darkest abyss of Antarctic winters. Pressure? Two times what you'd experience at sea level on Earth. Forget about skydiving without a parachute. You're a human pancake before you can say, space-time continuum. Oh, and you're an ice sculpture too. If you somehow miraculously survive the first layer, prepare for a sudden plot twist. You've transitioned from a frigid wasteland to a roiling furnace. The second layer's got a spicy blend of hydrogen, helium, and wait for it, methane. That's right, good old cattle flatulence gas. But there's nothing funny about it here. Temperatures soar to 100 degrees Celsius, and the pressure is like having 10 elephants sit on you. You're a human pressure cooker, char grill to perfection. And the methane? It's toxic enough to poison you tenfold. Hold your breath, literally. We've entered the third layer, replete with hydrogen, helium, ammonia, and water vapor. If you thought New York air was heavy during a summer heat wave, the pressure here is 100 times greater than sea level. Lack of oxygen? That's an understatement. You'd suffocate before you could register your surroundings. And oh, the ammonia would tear through your respiratory system like acid. Just when you think you can't get any more extreme, welcome to Jupiter's version of Hell's Inner Circle. The fourth layer. Metallic hydrogen swarms around you. Yes, metallic hydrogen. A strange, almost mythological phase of hydrogen brought to life by mind-bending pressure. And the temperature? A blistering 10,000 degrees Celsius. You'd vaporize, your atoms torn asunder, becoming one with a planet's chaotic maelstrom. Now if you're fancy and you time your descent just right, you could dive into the Great Red Spot, the most colossal storm in the entire solar system. Think of Earth's hurricanes, then multiply them by insanity. This tempest is twice the size of Earth, and its winds whip around at a terrifying 268 miles per hour. You'd be ripped apart faster than you can say, Houston, we have a problem. Oh, and let's not forget gravity. Jupiter's gravitational pull is a merciless 2.5 times stronger than Earth's. Even if you weighed a svelte 100 pounds on Earth, you're a 250-pound cosmic lead ball. Even your bones would be crushed under their own weight. Jupiter is mesmerizing. It's like the Hannibal Lecter of planets. Incredibly fascinating, but unimaginably dangerous. This Titan is a place of extreme temperatures, extreme pressures, and extreme gravitational forces. From its role as Earth's bodyguard to its diverse collection of moons and lethal atmospheric conditions, what do you think is the most compelling reason for humanity to continue investing in the exploration of this gas giant? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.